So crashing back to the farm with reality this week because I've been on my honeymoon, it's been lovely, but I've come back and we've got a lame bull. And we've got to bring him in um, because we need the foot, foot trimmer to have a look at him. Unfortunately, our actual main proper foot trimmer can't make it for a few days. So we're going to get the vet to have a look at him. The vet's got a bit of a foot fetish. Uh, but we've got to get him in first. He's at the side of the drive here and he's not walking too good. He's kind of got a bit swollen, not too great. Um, but I'm sure we'll get him in somehow and we'll get him fixed up. Dad's just bringing him round now. He's not walking too fast. We've already given him a jab of some Ultra Pen to try and sort him out. But yeah, he doesn't look too well. If you look down here, you can see this is the one that's bad and it's bigger, it's more swollen just here than what this one is. And he doesn't like to put too much weight on it. And if you pick it up, I can't show you at the minute, but when you pick it up, you can tell that some of his soul is just coming away and he needs it sorted out, but he's not walking too good. I've got to get him over there to the yard. So we're going to put him on the halter and hopefully pull him across. So we might not be putting him on the halter after all, because he's decided he wants to walk now. Hopefully he'll uh, make it. So we've got him in now, the concrete, Obviously being hard is a little bit painful for him. We've given a bit of corn for being a good lad. Um, he stood up all right, he did sit down a minute, but uh, hopefully Ruben won't be too long and we'll get this sorted out. We've got to wait for Ruben now. So I'll go and do something else. And then when Ruben gets here, we'll get him in the crush, get his foot up and uh, see, what's, see what's wrong with it. First, we put the bull in the crush. This will allow us to operate safely. Ruben then decides to cut away at some of the bull's nail in order to reveal the infected area on the foot. You can soon see the pocket of infection revealed here. This is most likely the cause of the bull's lameness. Upon further inspection, Reuben tells us that the wound is actually full of maggots. These have been laid in the pocket of infection by blowfly when the bull has been laid in the field. As you can imagine, this is likely to be a very uncomfortable sensation for the bull. I asked Reuben what he thought the cause of the abscess was and he told me that it was most likely down to the fact that we've had such a severe drought this year and the ground is really hard. He also mentioned that because it's on the bull's back leg, when he served cows he would have put more weight through it and that would have compounded the issues. As Reuben removes more of the hoof and reveals more of the infection, he finds that the maggots have started eating into the bull's foot and causing it to bleed. Yeah, there's going to be some blood. Um... Once Reuben gets this part, he removes the rest of the infected tissue very carefully in order not to disturb any of the living flesh underneath. He then asked me if I could go and fetch a bucket of cold water in order to clean the bull's foot. This will stop it getting infected any further. He uses the water to clean the bull's foot before adding iodine. The iodine will help dry the wound and prevent any further infection from occurring. He then trims the bull's feet using what are effectively massive toenail clippers. This allows Reuben to shape his foot so that once healed, the bull can stand properly. He then decided to look at the other side of the bull's foot and found that there was another pocket of infection lurking underneath. The decision was made not to prize any further as this would mean the bull wouldn't be able to use his foot at all. Instead, a small wooden block is applied to the bull's foot in order to stop him putting pressure on his original wound. The glue used here is extremely sticky and dries very quickly, so Reuben has to work fast. Once applied, the bull will be able to use his foot as normal, with the pressure only being put through the healthy parts of his foot. Reuben adds a little bit of extra glue to make sure that the block is stuck properly before spraying it with an antiseptic spray to allow that wound to heal. We release his foot, allowing him to walk again, before adding some neat iodine to the top of his toes in order to prevent any more flies. We then let him out of the crush and see how he walks. We have everything crossed that he makes a full and fast recovery. We're now about 36 hours on from trimming the bull's foot and he's putting plenty of weight on it, which is a good sign. Walking around on it pretty well, actually. He's kind of walking as if he hadn't got any problem with his foot at all, which is good news. We decided to keep him inside for a couple of days just to keep an eye on him, make sure he gets plenty of food, make sure he gets looked after. Um, just give him some corn. So he's pretty happy at the minute. He's quite content, which is good. You might have noticed he's lost a bit of condition because he's been working. He's not in with the cows now, so all the bulls are out of the cows, which is good. The plan now is to get the foot trimmer, the proper one, back in a couple of weeks' time, trim up all the bulls' feet and get them ready for the winter so that they're all good going back into the sheds, into their individual pens, and then we'll have a look at him again, see whether he's healing on that one side, and we'll keep getting the foot trimmer back until we have one side healed and we can have a look at that other side. If we keep treating him with antibiotics as well, hopefully that'll reduce that other infection. 
but it's just a bit of a waiting game. Ruben did drop a bit of a bombshell on us when he left though, because he told us that with that one infection on one side, and we're having to wait for that to heal, and then we'll have to treat the other infection on the other side, even though we're giving him antibiotics and things to try and help clear up these infections faster, it might not get cleared for next year, which considering all the bull issues about this year, to think that we might not even have this bull ready to work next year is a proper kick in the teeth, but we've got everything crossed. We can do everything we can do, give him a proper pamper session over the winter, and hopefully when it comes to next June, we can turn him out. But the thought of having bull issues next year without even getting through this year yet is a oh, nightmare, but it is what it is. Just do our best for him, that's all we can do. If you enjoyed the video guys, want to check out some of the other videos that are on the screen right now or click on my face down below to subscribe to the channel. Whatever you're up to this weekend, have a great one. I'll see you all soon. Bye.